Welcome to our ninth video on PHP and MySQL. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and embed PHP into HTML. So I'm going to go ahead and create another file. So I'm going to go to TextMate or whatever text editor you're on. Click New. And let's go ahead and create HTML tags. So, oh my god. And what am I, what I need? I need head. Close head out. Give it a title. And we'll call this um, ch -ch 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 PHP. Works for me. Give it some body tags. Okay, so we're going to save it to our folder. So save as. And we'll do it from the top so you guys don't get lost. So I'm in my applications right now or programs if you're on uh, Windows or a PC. PC. And we saved it in XAMPP files in our HT docs right here in our PHP folder. And we'll go ahead and we'll just call this uh, first.php. We'll go ahead and save it. So now we can go ahead and we can call PHP. This is how we start something in PHP. I'll just close it out right now. We're in PHP. That's fine. And you don't need to close it out five lines down. You can actually have it like right over here. You can put like echo hello world. And this closing tag will work the exact same as it would here or a thousand more lines down here if it's all just white space in here. I don't need to do it five lines down. You can have it right here, which is actually probably better because it's less lines of code, which means our server and browser will read it faster. But for now, we only have a few lines of code, so we're fine. It's only really necessary to consolidate lines of code if you have a lot. If you have hundred or thousands, hundreds and thousands of lines of code, I'd recommend putting your closing tag where your opening tag is. But for the time being, we don't have that much, that many lines of code, so we'll be okay. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to open it up in our browser. But again, we changed. This isn't the index.php file. It's our file called first dot php and I'm gonna did I save this and we'll reload it and that didn't work how come that didn't work did I not save this okay I don't know why it's doing that to me I, I could I could have sworn I saved it the first time so here we go we just embedded PHP into our HTML page so we could write I'll bring this back up for the time being and so I'll save it again and open it up in our browser just to show you that nothing has changed. So our our browser understands that with our opening tag right here, this is how we're calling PHP or this is how we're going to open PHP. And with our closing tag, that lets us that lets the browser know that we're done. We're done asking the server for PHP. So we can go ahead and continue type in HTML like um did a line break Hello world, and thanks for stopping by. We'll reload it. It should be one line down. Hello world, and thank you for stopping by. So we just embedded PHP into our HTML page, and I think I want to keep this HTML page for the time being, just for the for the remainder of the, the video series. So I hope you guys are following along. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and uh, good luck.